Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Shweb Ahmed. Today I am going to discuss about past paper of MAP quotas for junior engineer position which were conducted by NTS in 2015. So first question is a diode that has negative resistance characteristics is the there are the five options are there. The correct answer is B. What is tunnel diode? A tunnel diode is type of semiconductor diode that has effectively negative resistance due to the quantum mechanical effect called tunneling. Now we come to the question number two. A DC to DC converter with a high step of voltage gain is used for several applications such as these are five options are there. Answer is E, all of above. What is DC to DC converter and where are they used? The DC to DC converter is a type of electric power converter that converts a source of direct current DC from one voltage level to another. They are increasingly used in portable electronic devices such as the cellular phones and laptop computer. Now we come to the question number three. We build control system for. There is a five options. The correct answer is D. Compensation for disturbance. Compensation means to reduce or minimize. Now we come to the question number four. In LTI system can be completely characterized by its there are four options. Correct answer is option number A, impulse input. How can a LTI system be completely characterized? LTI system are completely characterized by their impulse response and their complex impulse response in the RF bandpass and BV domains respectively. What is mean by LTI system? In system analysis, among other fields of study, a linear time invariant system LTI system is a system that produces an output signal from any input signal subject to the constraints of linearity and time invariance. It's called LTI system. You can see from the figure this is a linear system from which we are giving input signal and we are getting other side output signal. Now we come to the question number five. In order to have a lower cost of electrical energy generation, there is a four option. The correct answer is D, high load factor and diversity factor. What load factor and diversity factor should be high? Importance of diversity factor in power sector for a given number of consumers. Higher the diversity factor of the load, similar will be the capacity of plant. Therefore, fixed charges for plant will be reduced. Therefore, the utility company always try to increase load factor as well as diversity factor. What is the effect of load factor and diversity factor on the cost of generation? The greater the diversity factor, the lesser is the cost of generation of power because greater diversity factor means lesser maximum demand. Now, lower maximum demand means a lower capacity of the plant will reduce the cost of the plant. Now, we come to the question number six. Which of the following converts thermal energy into kinetic energy. There are the four options. Are there? The correct answer is D, rocket. You can see from the figure, there is a different energy conversions are shown in figure that chemical energy, chemical energy means it's fuel like gas, diesel, oil, 
from figure you can see the chemical energy can be converted into the kinetic energy and chemical energy can be converted into the electricity and electricity can be converted into the light and electricity can be converted into light and sound and chemical energy can be converted into the mechanical energy chemical energy means there is a source maybe it gas oil or diesel now we come to the question number 7 If the height of transmission tower is increased, which of the following parameter is likely to change? There are the four option. The correct answer is A, capacitance. The transmission line has a mainly four parameters: resistance, inductance, capacitance, and shunt conductance. What happens if capacitance is increased in transmission line? You can see from the figure there are the three phase system shown in the figure. There is line capacitance between each phase and there is a charging current which is going to the downward earth side height of transmission line increase then capacitance decrease and inductance remain the same and also if the space of transmission line conductors increase the capacitance will decrease inductance of transmission line independent of height of transmission tower and capacitance of transmission line depend of height of transmission tower if the capacitance of an overhead line is high the line draws more charging current which compensates or cancel the lagging component reactive component of the load current under normal load condition the load is inductive ones and the resultant current flowing in the line is reduced now we come to the question number 8 the shunt winding of the motor has a resistance of 80 ohms at 22 centigrade when the motor runs at all full load its resistance increase to 100 ohm the resistance temperature coefficient of winding per 0 centigrade is 0.004 the rise in temperature of the winding will nearly there are the four options the correct answer is c 70 now we come to the solution when the initial temperature is not 0 centigrade the formula used for temperature coefficient is alpha is equal to r2 minus r1 divided by r1 multiply T2 minus R2 multiplied T1. This is the formula. When we putting values from question inside this equation, after simplify, then we easily get temperature T2, which is 70 centigrade. Answer is C. Now we come to the question number nine. A hundred volt bulb has a resistance of five hundred ohms. The number of hours it can work for every kilowatt hour of energy consumed will be. There are the four options. The correct answer is C, fifty. Now we come to the solution. We have given formula P is equal to V square upon R by putting values. Voltage is given there in question, and resistance is also given there. 500 resistance and 100 is volt. When we putting these value in the power formula, then we easily get the value of power, which one is 20 watt. The number of hours it can work for every kilowatt of hour of energy consumed will be then 20 watt hour multiplied by one hour. Then power will be 20 watt hour. P is equal to kilowatt hour. P kilo value is thousand watt multiplied by one hour. Then P value will be one thousand watt. Then we can simply 
put these values in the T is equal to 20 watt hour then we can get value of hour 50. Now we come to the question number 10. If current leads the voltage by 90 or voltage leaks the current by 90 then circuit is capacitive. The correct answer is B. If the voltage lead the current by 90 then the circuit will be inductive. This is the simple trick. I have compiled all these MCQs in one PDF file and its link is given in description you can easily download. Thanks for watching video. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you so much.